The Bible has many stories of people who trusted in God. We can think of Abraham. We can think of uh, Peter when Jesus told him to launch out into the deep. But one of the most remarkable people who trusted God was a man called Job. Very profound story in the Bible. And Job tells us in Job chapter 13, verse 15, Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Even so, I will defend my own ways before him. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. These are very bold statements. It's quite a, a remarkable idea for a human being to say that I will trust the person who is slaying me or the person who is killing me, more or less. And this was Job's answer to his friends. His friends had come to comfort him after Job had lost everything. He had lost family. He had lost friends. He had lost his wealth. He lost his health. And in the midst of all of this, his friends come to him and are wondering how he's scoping. His own wife told him, curse God and be free, literally. And so Job starts making his statement. And he says, although I've lost everything, uh, bit by bit, I've seen my whole life collapse. One thing after the other, one calamity after the other. This is my conclusion. My trust is in God. And even if he's the one doing this to me, I still trust him. These words are words of absolute trust in God. You know, many times we trust God because something great happened in our lives. We received a miracle. Our prayer was answered. Something we expected happened. And then we are so full of confidence proclaiming who God is. He's a miracle working God. He's a God of signs and wonders. And then when something goes bad, we're wondering whether he's still God. But this is Job. He says, even if he slaves me, I will trust him. There are people who have lost their trust in God. They've lost their faith because they prayed and it wasn't answered. And uh, they wanted something and it didn't happen. And now they don't want to hear about God again. These are fair weather worshippers. They only worship the Lord when it is fair weather. God is God. He's the God in the storm and he's God in the sunshine. He's God on the mountain. He's God in the valley. When you're going through your mountain experience, he's God. When you're going through the valley experience, he's God. When you're smiling, he's God. When you're frowning, he's God. He never changes. And Job understood that. As a pastor, nothing encourages me more than to see a Christian, and I see quite a number, whom I know are going through difficulty. And still they smile, and they're talking about God, and they're worshiping, and their faith is strong. They understand trusting God is for all times of our lives. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. The good thing is he will not slay you, but trust him all the time. And Pastor Mesa Otterville, shalom, peace, and life to you.